Uh, we offer loans and grants, uh, both through uh, state loan programs and federal loan programs. Um, so depending on what the type of project is, depending on the uh, socioeconomic status of the community, um, would determine whether or not they may be eligible for some, possibly some grant funding. But we do have loans on the state level which they could apply for at any time. We have federal loans um, which function on a cycle where you'll submit your projects uh, to get ranked by March 1st of each year. Uh, the Water Development Board and TCEQ would rank those projects and then based on that ranking we would invite entities to submit applications for funding. So that, those federal programs function more on a cycle. Well the lion's share of CDBG funding goes to uh, infrastructure for water and sewer lines. Um, as it pertains to disaster relief for the drought, we're looking at funding um, systems who are experiencing about 180 days or less of water supply due to the drought. Um, we're funding projects like intake extensions, interconnects with neighboring systems, new wells, things of that nature, anything that will permanently resolve the problem. Uh, they're, they're for all kinds of system improvements. Um, so it could include drought, it could include uh, rehabilitation, it could be developing new sources of supply, it could be for wastewater treatment. So uh, Some of the programs are tied for specific type of projects. So our, on our federal side we have a drinking water state revolving fund which is, which is geared for water projects. Clean Water State Revolving Fund, which is geared for wastewater projects. On the state loan side, we have the Texas Water, Devel Texas water Development Fund, and that can come in, those entities could use those funds for any type of drainage, water, or wastewater type improvements.